Hey guys, Kika Moni here, back with another review for you. So tonight, I am not reviewing food. I, uh, well, I did review food earlier, so check that out, please. I did two different reviews earlier. But right now, I am reviewing something else that I really love, and that is wine. So here it is, right? Crisp and delicious Pinot Grigio. It's so good. It's like light and fruity and crisp and dry and oh my God, everything I want. And I'm so excited about it because I don't know if you know this. Well, if you're a subscriber of mine, you do know this. Um, I love box wines. It's uh, inexpensive and delicious and um, I'm all about like getting a bargain. So I discovered something new earlier this week and what is it? But lo and behold, at Costco, I discovered Kirkland box wine, right? Okay, let me zoom out. You can't really see it like as much as I'd like you to. Look at this little baby, right? Oh my gosh. Pinot Grigio box wine. Stays up, uh, stays fresh for up to 30 days after opening, right? Like, like this is going to last 30 days. It's uh, three liters, so it's equal to four 750 milliliter bottles. Let me give you a close up of those de details there. <laughs> Here's opening and pouring instructions, but let's face it, this is not my first rodeo. I've done a few box wine reviews before. Uh, I'm a fan of Franzia, and I've done reviews on a few different flavors of Franzia. I'll post the little links up here if you're interested in seeing some of that action. And uh, check it out, right? Vintage 2019 California Pinot Grigio Kirkland Signature. So I don't know about you guys, but I've tried Kirkland wines before, and they are good. You know I'm not that picky when it comes to wine. I like two buck chuck. I like box wine. I like a bargain, frankly. And um, so I've tasted it already, as you can see. I tasted it yesterday when I like was so excited. I tore right into the box. And my God, this is delicious. It's crisp and light and fruity and delicious. And um, there's nothing I don't like about this, frankly. So the little description on the box here says crisp and juicy, right? Right, what I was saying. Crisp and juicy flavors of fresh pineapple and grapefruit along with a hint of minerality on the finish. Wow, I'm surprised I did not slaughter that word. So I do not taste pineapple. Uh, let, me, let me pretend like I know what I'm doing here. It is fruity and it is crisp and juicy and delicious. It's not sweet, it's a nice like dry wine. It's my thing. I mean, maybe, I mean. I don't know. I don't think I can pinpoint pineapple as a flavor in there. Grapefruit, maybe. It's got that like tart uh, zing to it, I don't know, for lack of a better term. But I mean, how much do you love this, right? So it's like $10, Kirkland boxed their wine. They're going with the trend there. There's lots of new box wines out there. There's black label, it's a little bit pricier, probably more delicious. Usually the more expensive the wine, the better it tastes. Although, you know, two buck chuck is delicious and it's like $2 a bottle, so there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, I know I've talked about this before in my other wine videos, but there's nothing more <laughs> troublesome to me than going to like a restaurant and paying like eight or ten dollars for one glass when lo and behold you can get a nice little tidy package here that fits in your fridge for the bargain price of ten dollars. You know, same thing with uh, Franzia or Vela or a couple other brands that I've tried and enjoy. Um, my God, what a deal. And this is delicious. I've got to say, if you're a fan of Kirkland wine, <laughs> such as myself, please post a comment. I'm interested to know if anybody else has already tried this little baby, please post a comment. I have seen a box wine there before, but I think it was Cabernet Sauvignon. And, um, I do enjoy that, but I'm more of a white wine gal. Like that's my go-to really. And Pinot Grigio, I love, right? Sauvignon Blanc, I love. Um, Chardonnay is not like my favorite, but I will drink it. And um, really, I don't discriminate that much when it comes to wines. 
But man, this is amazing. So super excited. This was my high point of the week here. Uh, yeah, man. Ventured out of the house, out of our shelter in place to go to Costco, and I found me a new box wine. So cheers to me. Happy Friday, everyone. Cheers to you. If you've made it through another week of all this shenanigans, pour yourself a glass of uh, whatever you got and enjoy it. Happy Friday. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed this little video, if you're a box wine fan yourself, or maybe just a Kikamoni fan, shoot me a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know. That's it for now. I hope everyone has a great weekend and is staying healthy and safe. And uh, what more can we ask for right now? Hopefully you like the people that you're stuck with because there's not really much uh, venturing out these days. So uh, anyway, happy Easter, everyone. Stay safe. Happy shelter in place. Happy Friday. Cheers. <laughs> Take it easy. And oh, more to come, like always. Anyway, have a good one, everyone.